Mexico seems to be faring better than its northern neighbour, the United States, when it comes to coronavirus cases. So far, only about 1,500 infections and 50 deaths have been reported there, compared to more than 230,000 in the US. But those numbers are on the rise, and there's been growing anger over the Mexican government's handling of the crisis. The BBC's Will Grant has this report. A uniquely Mexican way to tell people to wash their hands. Amid accusations the message wasn't getting through, state police in Quintana Roo performed a mariachi song to remind the public to practice social distancing and self-isolation. However, some say the response at the federal level has been less harmonious. The country's president, Andres Manuel López Obrador, has come in for widespread criticism. For days, he said people could go outside, attend large events, even kiss and embrace. Those at Mexico's first drive through coronavirus test, being run by a private clinic in the capital, were angry at the president's attitude. If the president really cares about his people, then he must protect them, said this woman, fearing Mexico will struggle to deal with the crisis. But the Mexican health authorities insist they've taken the problem seriously from the start. With the number of coronavirus patients rising above a thousand, the government has now declared a health emergency which grants it new powers to enforce distancing and isolation. We don't want to go through the scenario that other countries are unfortunately going through. So this is the moment. The World Health Organization has also broadly defended Mexico's response. Mexico is benefiting from the experiences of those countries that have already taken these measures. The steps they have taken are very laudable. They are on the right path. The thing is, Mexico faces a number of underlying health challenges. Its population, for example, has one of the highest rates of diabetes in the world. An astonishing 10% of its adult population suffer from the condition, and it's the second most obese nation on earth. I'm especially worried for my son, said this customer at a Mexico City taco stand. I try to get him to exercise, but now he can't go outside. With far fewer infected in Mexico than in the US, it has prompted some Mexicans to demand that Americans not be allowed to cross the border. Meanwhile, thousands of Central American migrants remain in temporary camps under the so-called Remain in Mexico policy, waiting for their asylum applications in the US to be processed. Stuck in limbo, illness and flu spread among them quickly, and a further humanitarian crisis beckons. Will Grant. BBC News.